Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, China's chip industry has made big news. China's 14 nanometer chips have been mass produced, which is a big deal and has directly broken the original pattern of the global chip market. Today, let's talk about this and see what stories are behind it. TSMC, the big brother of global chip manufacturing. In the past, TSMC's monthly production capacity of 14 nanometer chips could reach 100,000 pieces, which was quite impressive. However, since China entered the 14 nanometer chip market, TSMC's days have been difficult. In the past two months, TSMC's 14 nanometer chip orders have dropped by 40%, suddenly dropping to about 60,000 pieces. What can be done? The inventory backlog is getting more and more serious and TSMC has no choice but to choose to reduce prices for sales, and the reduction of some products has even exceeded 20%. Intel, the American chip giant, uses its chips in many computers and servers. In the past, Intel's chips with 14 nanometer and above processes could account for 30% of its revenue about 3 billion US dollars. However, now affected by Chinese products, Intel's revenue in this part of the third quarter directly fell by 1.5 billion US dollars. This is a huge amount. Intel had no choice but to drastically cut costs and even laid off some production line staff. There is also Samsung Electronics of South Korea, which is also a major global chip manufacturer. However, now its 14 nanometer chip production line operation rate has also dropped sharply from the original 90% to 60%. What does this mean? That is, a lot of equipment is idle. If the chips cannot be sold, the company's working capital will be tight. There is no choice but to cut the R&D investment budget by 10%, which also delays the development progress of its next-generation process. Seeing this, everyone may understand that the mass production of China's 14 nanometer chips is really a big earthquake for the global chip market. The companies that originally dominated the market are now under a big impact. So how did China's chip industry do it? In fact, this is inseparable from China's long-term efforts and investment. Chip manufacturing is not an easy task. It requires extremely high technical levels and sophisticated manufacturing equipment. China has made a lot of efforts to overcome this technical difficulty. Now, China's 14 nanometer chip yield has continued to increase to 90%, and the cost has also been reduced by about 30%. This is not easy. The increase in yield means that the quality of chips produced in China is better and can better meet the needs of the market. The reduction in costs makes Chinese products more competitive and can occupy a larger share of the market. Moreover, China's chip production capacity is still expanding steadily. This means that China can not only meet the needs of the domestic market, but also inject stability into the global supply chain. This is good news for the global chip market. Because chips are an indispensable part of modern society, whether it is mobile phones, computers, or other electronic devices, they all need chips. 
The rise of China's chip industry has undoubtedly provided strong support for the development of the global electronics industry. So what should global chip companies do now? I think they have to re-examine their layout. The days of relying on technology monopoly may be gone forever. Now, cooperative innovation and exploring niche markets are the key to breaking through in the future. Chip technology is a field that is changing with each passing day. If you are one step ahead today, I may catch up tomorrow. Therefore, global chip companies should strengthen cooperation and jointly promote technological innovation and development. Only in this way can we keep up with the pace of the times and not be eliminated by the market. At the same time, global chip companies have to explore market segments. Because the current market demand is becoming more and more diversified, different customers have different demands for chips. Therefore, companies should have a deep understanding of market demand and develop chip products that better meet customer needs. Only in this way can we occupy a larger share in the market and win more customers. The rise of China's chip industry has not only brought competition and vitality to the global chip market, but also provided strong support for the development of the global electronics industry. I think this is a good thing. Because competition can promote progress. Only by continuous competition and innovation can the development and progress of the entire industry be promoted. Moreover, the rise of China's chip industry has also given people more choices and opportunities. In the past, people may only be able to buy chip products of foreign brands. Now, everyone can also choose domestically produced chip products in China. This not only gives everyone more choices, but also makes the Chinese more confident and proud. Because China also has the ability to produce high-quality chip products. In short, China's mass production of 14 nanometer chips has disrupted the global chip market, impacting giants such as TSMC, Intel, and Samsung Electronics. The rise of China's chip industry has promoted the development of the global electronics industry, and chip companies should cooperate in innovation and explore market segments to cope with changes 